I'm delighted to see graphics being rolled out to first year students starting the junior cycle this year. The subject graphics will give students the opportunity to develop their spatial reasoning and to communicate design ideas using 2D and 3D sketches and drawing techniques. The inclusion of applied graphics and design thinking will ensure there's lots of opportunities for students to be creative and investigate geometry in the world around them. Graphics will provide students with the inspiration to develop their ideas, but more importantly, to communicate them. As an architect, I would use graphics from the very, very outset of a project. So the first idea is always a sketch. And so it starts off with me, I'm communicating with myself. It's from the brain to the hand to the sketch. From that, I need to communicate to my team in the office what I'm thinking. So we do very, very loose sketches. They understand it and they can work with it. After that, it's communicating to the client. So it's about putting drawings together in a way that a client can understand them. They will be rough plans, you know, so they can see which rooms are going to be beside which rooms. Um, elevation so they can start to see the height of the building. Maybe we might colour them in and, and show some materials. But it's constantly communicating your idea to somebody, be it the team or onto the client. Um, from that, I would then turn it into a three-dimensional model. That three-dimensional model starts off on the computer. And what it does is it enables us as a team of architects in the office to play around with materials, to play around with shapes. Sometimes when you draw something in two dimensions, it can look great. When you put that same drawing into three dimensions, it starts to show the flaws. We would use 3D graphics not just as something to show the client when the drawing is finished. We use it as a design tool where we can mess around with shapes. We can see where windows look good, where they don't, how corners meet, things that two-dimensional drawings don't do. But they're also an amazing tool to show a client what a building would look like at the end. From there, you've got to communicate to, to the planning authorities. You've got to communicate to the builders. You've got to communicate to people who were putting together fire drawings, disability access drawings. Um, and you're constantly using the drawings as they develop and they become more detailed to communicate to different people. And finally, I suppose, is to communicate to the contractor. When you get to site, your drawings become a set of instructions. It's a little bit like when you buy a flat pack piece of furniture and you get the instructions inside, except for we have to flat pack everything and put the instructions and label everything. So it starts off, for me, graphics, as the connection from here to the hand to the sketch, right up to a set of really detailed instructions for a builder to build from. Look, it's, it's vital if you're going to go into any profession that, where you need to see and feel spaces, um, where you need to look at how things go together, be it engineering, be it architecture, be it any job where you will need to visualize something going together, even in the medical profession. Graphics to me is, it's my life. Um, I use it every single day. Um, to me, it's a language. It has taught me um, spatial awareness and, and how to see things in a very different way. And I think that's crucial for anybody who wants to go into any kind of profession where you need to see and feel spaces. But I think it's actually crucial for everybody. We all live in homes, we all enjoy buildings, we all enjoy social spaces, squares, public spaces, all of that. I think graphics is a language that everybody should learn. I really like graphics because you get to design objects on a computer using SolidWorks. This is a program that designers use to create and design products like iPhones and AirPods. In graphics, we learn how to read and draw professional drawings like arch architects and engineers. Graphics teaches us how to design and draw your favorite superhero logo to specific measurements. We get to see and use the different stages professionals use to create the design in the real world. In graphics we learn how to use all the equipment that professional architects and en engineers use in the real world. Graphics teaches us how to look at objects in different ways. It teaches us to visualize the specific and smaller details in objects and symbols all over the world. Did you know there is a hidden message in most symbols and logos? Can you spot the arrow in the delivery company's logo? FedEx.